everyone from Pushing Middle School. I'm the team leader of FanBot and the team leader of Software Team. Hi everyone, I'm Wilson Wu from Pushing Middle School. I'm the main programmer of FanBot. I'm William from Pushing Middle School, the teammates of Software Team and one of the team description paper writers. Hi, I'm Chester Chang from Pushing Middle School. I'm one of the teammates of the hardware team. Hi, I'm Ran Ho from Pujang Middle School, the leader of the hardware team. Hello everyone, I am Ifana Wu from Pujang Middle School, the teammate of hardware team. Hi, I'm Thomas Chen from Pujang Middle School. I'm the teammate of the software team and one of the writer of the team description paper. I'm Kelly Chen, one of the writer of the script and a member of teammate. Also, I have a hope of improving the appearance of the robot. I am Sophie Lo. I'm one of the writer of the team description paper, a member of Finling, and I will also have a for improving the appearance of the robots. Most of our teammates started learning Jupyter robots this year, and we chose Jupyter robots as our host computer because there are a lot of advantages. Firstly, we can put Jupyter robots into our computers and simulate robotic operations so that we can learn and become familiar with the code in order to save time on programming. Second, we can use Jupyter robots to connect our computer and make changes easily. Third, the Jupyter robot contains many different functions, like it can be used with robotic arms to grab objects, for cameras to detect objects and it can also contain our computer. I will introduce the hardware part of our robot. Our robot is composed of an pair computer, which is our main frames. A chassis to control the four wheels, a leader, a speaker, a screen, and a manipulator. The electromagnetic energy is admitted to a space in a directional manner by receiving the radio waves reflected by the object in a space. The direction, height, and the speed of the object can be calculated. The shape of the object can also be deleted. We also got the emergency button. The emergency button can shut down the robot's chassis, but not to affect the host. When the robot encounters an emergency or causes damage that will affect our safety of our life, we have to press the main switch button to shut down the host and the chassis. However, if we force the robot to shut down, it may lose the program that we typed because of not saving, and it will waste a lot of time to turn it on and write the program again, which will bring us inconvenience. That is why we need an emergency button to shut down the robot's chassis, but not to affect the host. I will now move on to the software section. On the software side, we have two main functions that work successfully. Next, we will show you the functions of our robot. Hello! I'm ready. Okay. Face at the sound source. Receiving the sound with a speaker. Find the location of the sound source using the Emma Hello. voice. Built-in function. Okay. Then use a formula to find the radian. Then, send the location information to the chassis and transfer it to the source location sound source. When the target person speaks to the robot, the robot will turn to the direction of the target. In order to achieve this purpose, we will use the re-speaker to get what the target person says and let the robot find the direction of the sound source. After finding the direction, we will control the chassis of the robot to turn in the direction of the sound source. Hello, I'm here. In the following speech, we are going to introduce the function of facing at the operator. First of all, we have to get the radian of where the robot is facing from the IMU. There are four parameters in the IMU. X, Y, Z, W. Coordinates. X, Y, Z, W. Four data into three directions. Then, use the yawn to find the angle. Second of all, we have to get the position of the sound source. However, since the position of the sound source is angle, we have to change it into radian. 
the formula that changes angel to radian is angel times pi divided 180. After changing the unit of the sound source, we have to determine if the angel is negative or positive. If the coordinate of the sound source is negative, the robot will have to turn right in order to face at the operator. If the coordinate of the sound source is positive, the robot will have to turn left to face at the operator. Come and get the bottle. Firstly, the operator should ask the robot to hold the bottle. The operator should say the keywords we have set up. The keywords include come and get. I'm going to get it out. Secondly, the robot will ask the operator if we had to hold the bottle. May I get it out? Yes, okay. Thirdly, the operator will have to confirm our order. To confirm our order, the operator has to say the keyword yes. After that, the robot will get the bottle immediately. Thank you. The robot will be holding the bottle until the operator asks for the bottle. In summary, we have learned a lot of things when preparing for the competition including coding, hardware design, teamwork and cooperation. Since the code is lengthy at first, we asked for our teacher's suggestions and made functions that are repeated in the code. During the hardware design, we tried to improve the appearance of the robot to make it extraordinary. Moreover, we also realized the importance of teamwork and cooperation. We established rules that helped him improve our efficiency. We hope we can continue improving our efficiency, learn more about coding and contribute to people who are suffering from separation from family.